Hey there, friends and followers. Steve here with eXp Realty. In today's video segment, we are going to go over some pros and cons for living in an HOA community here in the state of Florida. In addition to that, I'm going to throw you guys a bit of a general overview of what to expect from an HOA community if you don't already have that information. Stick around for the next couple of minutes as we find out that info together. All right there, my friends. So yes, as always, thanks for tuning in, checking out the videos. Steve here with EXP Realty. As always, if you guys dig the videos and dig the content, be sure and slap the like and subscribe button down below. So yeah, what exactly is an HOA community? Well, by definition here in the state of Florida, a homeowners association is a corporation responsible for the operation of a single family home community or a mobile home subdivision. Voting membership is made up of parcel owners in a given community, and most times that membership is mandatory when looking to reside in a homeowners association as well. Homeowners associations will typically impose fees or assessments that, if go unpaid, uh, can actually result as a lien against your property. Now, per Florida statute, this actually requires sellers of real property with a mandatory homeowners association to provide a prospective buyer with a disclosure summary that covers everything from the association itself, any restrictive covenants therein, and of course any fees or assessments that the association looks to impose. Uh, a prospective buyer is encouraged to not sign or fully execute a contract without first receiving, reading, and understanding the disclosure summary for that association. Uh, here in the state of Florida, homeowners association are actually required to uh, register with the Division of Business and Professional Regulations. Now one of the biggest hangups I get from home buyers when it comes to an HOA community is that they simply don't want anybody governing or regulating what they can or can't do with their home. However, with that being said, from a recent housing study that was done last fall and published by FloridaRealtors.org, it's estimated that 73.9 million Americans reside in either a homeowners association community or a condominium board based neighborhood. Um, of that 73.9 million, about 70% say that they rate their experience with their HOA as either good or very good. Uh, specifically here in the state of Florida, it's estimated that 10 million residents live in one of 48,500 different HOA communities. Now that number only comes in second to California's 49,200 uh, HOA communities that they have registered. Now there were also a few other pros and cons that you may want to keep top of mind when considering an HOA community. They are as follows. Now first con is going to be the dues. As mentioned, there is an added expense with living in an HOA community. The fees or dues can either be due either monthly or quarterly depending on the association. Second con is going to be the appearance. Now, it should be no surprise that uh, living in an HOA community, there is a certain presentation and image that the community is going to want to uphold. This may prevent you from uh, planning certain types of landscaping or decorations on your house. Third con is going to be compliance. Now, being a good neighbor is a great rule of thumb no matter where you end up, but rest assured in an HOA community, if you're doing things that are unruly or causing disturbance to other neighbors, your HOA is probably gonna let you know about it. The last con is going to be if you by chance happen to operate a business out of your residence, some HOAs may put strict restrictions against that sort of thing. So again, familiarizing yourself with the community is a great rule of thumb uh, if that situation pertains to you. Now in contrast, there is some great pros that go along with HOA communities as well. One of which being that, granted you may not have a whole lot of say in the appearance or decoration to your home, there is a overall pride of ownership that the community will be looking to uh, have their residents uphold. This means no uh, unsightly messes in the yard or broken down cars in the driveway. Next is gonna be the community features. So a lot of times HOA communities will implement neighborhood pools, recreational facilities, tennis courts, basketball courts, golf courses, and even playgrounds. Uh, for you as a resident, this means there's always something to get out and do, whether it be fitness or even, uh, you know, uh, walking any trails provided. Another great pro is if you're not a fan of uh, lawn maintenance or upkeep, a lot of HOA communities will actually take on that burden for their residents. This also includes uh, general maintenance and upkeep to common areas in any facilities that are on site as well. Another great pro is having some peace of mind. Now, as mentioned, if uh, there is a neighbor uh, that is um, you know, causing a constant disturbance or maybe a dog that won't stop barking late at night 
Rest assured, you can always go to your HOA community, present this problem, and in most cases, they will address it and take care of it for you. Well, there you go, my friends. That is some pros and cons in regards to an HOA community and just some general knowledge altogether. As always, if you'd like any further information on this topic or anything else I can help cover, real estate related or anything Ocala, Marion County, feel free to drop me a message, shoot me a line. I would love to hear from you. As always, thanks for tuning in, checking out the videos. We'll catch you guys on the next.